All right, YouTubers. Well, <clears throat> I thought I'd do another video here, and it's actually kind of a fun project. If you ever looked about, sorry, I got a fan running in the background. Uh, look up in the sky, and you see all the planes, and it's just amazing how many of them up there flying around. So I'm running some software, and you only need one SDR dongle for this. Now I am using the NE SDR Smart Tree 4. You can find on Amazon. I'm not going to put the links up there because I'm lazy. But I got one of them. I got two other ones that I use to decode uh, for SDR trunk uh, for the P25 for police calls. But I want to see, you know, when helicopters got to live near a hospital uh, when they come in with the life flight. And just, you know, curious about all the other aircraft that's flying around. So, as you can see on the screen here, I got a virtual radar server. And this one is the other program. And I think it's, uh, well, let's just go here so I'm not misspoken. So, we'll come up here. I save it to my downloads. Dump 1090 win 1.10.3010.14. You'll need that file and you will need virtual radar setup and with the virtual radar uh, I'm running Windows 10 but you're still going to need some dependent files from the net frame and when you go to fire that program up it'll tell you that uh, you need to download those files and it'll pop up the little window saying and you just click on it if it fails the first time or in my case the first registration three time, November 772 box rock delta type B752 Operated by FedEx Express call sign Fox Rock Delta X ray 1296. Route not known. Sorry, uh, if once you set the program up on virtual radar, you can have it uh, auto select and tell you the description of the plane and who owns it. But you need uh, the dump. And when you download this and extract it, don't hit the EXE. Run the bat file. That's after you already got your dongle installed. You will need to run Zagdig or whatever the hell it's called because uh, you don't want the Windows drivers that it tries to if you, you know just get an SDR dongle. Uh, I got the basic one kit on that uh, NS SDR Smart 4. It's the $45 version. They have gone up since I bought mine. Mine was only $35 ish. And it come with a little telescopic antenna which I got it fully extended. I don't use those other three ones you get. You get one that's like a 3.5 inch, a 4.5, and I think a 5 inch. I didn't get, I don't use those. I use the telescopic one. It goes up uh, over 12 inches and it's recording fine. So you need uh, this file here and this file here. So we'll get out of here. And I'll show you what I'm looking at right now. When I go to the virtual flight, I mean, now you gotta let it run for a little bit to get all this, but I live in Mansfield. I mean, look at all the aircraft that's flying around me with that little crappy uh, kit antenna that comes with. Now, obviously, if you've got the money and want to buy a more expensive one, but why? I mean, we'll say 50 bucks. One SDR dongle, the any SDR Smart 4 Tree, that, you know, one of their newer ones. And it goes from 25 all the way up to, I think, 1750. If I'm wrong, someone I'm sure will correct me. But this is just a quick, free way of, you know, now you can track your aircraft. But what's really cool is, like I said, if you wanted to tell you, I got it set to auto. Uh, like right here, it says disable auto select. Now hit it randomly, you know, pick a plane and tell me information about it. Or you can just click on them and it'll do the same thing. But you can allow that. It's real easy. I mean, you just go up in here. Uh, right here, announce details of selected aircraft. You know, right there. Pretty simple. Now, to install this and to get it to work, it's very simple too. You got, when you first uh, run this file here, let me get it up here. Your dump file. You run your bat file okay so i already got this configured so we click on the bat and double click on the bat file don't click on any of this other stuff just the bat file we close that out and this is what you'll come up with if it detects your dongle and you have to run that zdag 
uh, otherwise Windows tries to install its driver and it will not recognize as you get a fail or something like that it's not recognizing your dongle so but once you got that on there and you start seeing this populate or if you don't get an error message telling you to hit a button easiest way is uh, you'll get a message that says if it didn't detect your dongle tell you to hit any button and it's you know takes back to desktop and you gotta figure out why it's not working use this because it's running trying Windows is trying to run its driver for your dongle you don't want that you want this one up here right there Zagdeg 2.7 I think is their newest one and you want bulk interface zero when you load this up I'm not going to load it up now because everything's running and it'll crash your system but you'll go up there and you'll see options click options it'll list all devices or tell you to check all devices list all devices but look for bulk interface zero or uh, interface bolt zero zero one it's going to be the other one you only got one in there you know of course you can go check in the device manager but yeah so we get out of that now once you're in this menu here you can go to tool well no i'm going to let me do it because we're running it's running right now but there's other videos on how to set that up it's pretty basic mine before i watched any of them i just installed everything and then you can go and tweak it a little bit and it worked right off the rip I mean no problem and then once you get all that set up then you go right here virtual radar click at when you click it it's going to bring this up here now mine's been running for a little while and the longer you run it it's going to collect more aircraft in your area but look at all the planes that's around you good lord i'm tracking 73 of them with registration little... november 2nd 33 fox rock romeo type ey320 Operated by Frontier Airlines. Call sign Fox Rot Fox Rot Tango 1049. Traveling from MKE General Mitchell, Milwaukee, United States to SEYT San Antonio, United States. Yeah, that's this one here. It's highlighted in yellow. If you have it on auto select, or you can manually click. I like auto select and it pulls it up here so we can go pull this up right now. I mean, you got all this other detailed information here. You can get a better picture of it. Yeah, right there. And of course, we can close this back out. But yeah, when it's highlighted in yellow, that's the plane it's telling you about. And uh, we can see up here his altitude is 21,775 feet up in the air. Speed is 483 miles per hour. Heading. 205 degrees distance 19.36 miles for me squawk is 5714 he has no emergencies i think that's what they said that was it's a twin engine species <laughs> it's funny uh land airplane but yeah i mean you got all this other data here but this is just an easy way for let say under 50 bucks 50 bucks max with the little crappy antennas, like I said, I'm using the telescopic one. It works the best, fully extended. And yeah, I'm tracking all this here. It will track helicopters. It will show a helicopter symbol. Sorry, that's my uh, ham radio in the background. Uh, it'll track helicopters. It'll show a helicopter symbol other than a jet. You got like passenger jets, private jets. Uh, there's no private like Cessnas, Pipers. Cubs, any of that out there, but it'll show a different icon for them. But I thought this would be an interesting video to do since I haven't uploaded anything in a little bit. Uh, if you only got one SDR dongle, and yeah, you can uh, <laughs> do this stuff right here with it and get that. So, all right, guys, I hope this helps someone out that wanted a different little hobby or just something else new to do. All right, thanks.